good day everyone welcome back to my unreal engine open world tutorial series so this is the stylized version of my project and today i'm going to show you how to blend these foliage meshes with the landscape so as you can see here there is a pretty harsh uh, seam in between this uh, tree mesh the foliage mesh and the landscape so I'm going to show you how to may blend these two meshes this mesh and the landscape like this it's like this now and with the parameter I can change it to look like this so there is a smooth blending between the tree mesh and the landscape and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me all right let's get started by opening the material of this tree so yeah this is the material instance and this is the material embark reactive and here uh, for this effect I am going to use this pixel depth offset so this uh, what this pixel depth offset is this is uh, using this node we can add some offset to the pixel it's like the depth means like the distance from the camera let me demonstrate that so if I place my yeah. let me change the value of this pixel depth offset now as I increase this you can see uh, the edge of the tree is starting to vanish actually that uh, what happens is as I add some depth it's like uh, it is being rendered behind the landscape so that's why I it starts to vanish so now we can use but even if I do that we can still see this clear seam in between the tree mesh and the landscape and this is not very nice no blending in between so now I can use this property and multiply with this uh, temporal dither temporal AA so yeah dithering means um, you might have seen uh, like I have used it here uh, just uh, notice the edge of this grass as I go forward the grass starts to appear smoothly so that is because of because I have enabled dithering there uh, not exactly dithering I don't remember the term so however that smooth appearance we can take that smooth appearance with this dithering node so all I have to do is multiply with the pixel depth offset and connect like this and apply right now I'll take the material again and yeah now as I increase the value of this pixel depth offset you can see this uh, mesh starts to show some blending here in the edge like this all right so that's all see now you see some smooth blending 
and there is also a downside to this as well you might see uh, some artifacts uh, some thing like this area is also starting to dither but it's not very noticeable and we have this smooth edge what about here here also the same you can see some smooth edge instead of a harsh seam okay um now shall we see what what can we do with this uh, random node let's promote this to a variable and apply and just like before let's try changing this random variable and see what happens oh okay as i increase the randomness i'm not exactly sure what happens but all right let's see i'll put five for this and then decrease the pixel depth offset all right right i guess this is what happens here ah, okay so here you can see something like dot effect i can change the size of those dots by increasing this random value okay so yeah I'll keep it at 5 that's the value and increase this a little bit let's keep it at one is it good better than before well let's see how it looks from the player's perspective by playing the game Okay, this is good. What about these trees? Also, I think it's better. Let me close this. Put this aside. Yeah. Better. Okay, and I think I'll stop this episode at this point. And uh, if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. Link would be in the description below. Also, I have released a new episode and source code uh, project files and my third person shooter series. Uh, feel free to check that. And thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.